Welcome everybody to another update video on the Brookwood and Deepcut Junction Railway. Uh, the scenery for the section that goes through the bookcase is pretty well complete now. It needs a few bits and pieces to give a bit more life to it. But I'm now left with the section that goes across the gap over the, by the door. As you can see I store the bridge on the back of the door which is a bit unsatisfactory but my plan is to convert that into a station. So here we go, I'm going to put the board in place, or the bridge in place I should say. It clips in quite easily and um, in order to make the electrical connection, because there are points and crossovers on the bridge, it's necessary to connect up the electrics, which I've done using the old um, SCART leads. So there we are, that's it connected, so all is now well. And my plan is to put a station on here called Deep Cut Junction because this is where the track leads down and goes under the board. I'm using the Metcalf cutout cardboard system and uh, they are quite good. I'm quite pleased with the result. This is the first section of the platform that I built. I'm having to put cardboard on the sorry, I'm having to put cork on the bottom to raise them up to the same level as the track, as all the track has cork underlay. As you can see, it fits quite well. The first of many. Here we are. I have now completed the whole side. Um, as you can see, it's all quite straightforward with no buildings on that side. The buildings, which come in a similar Metcalf pack, are all made of cardboard and just glued together with Yoohoo. It's a very simple process and I must say I quite enjoyed doing it and the result is quite effective. Here it is in place standing on a piece of cork and as you can see hopefully the coach will pass underneath without snagging the, over the canopy over the track. They do recommend that you work in a tidy manner with a neat and tidy work desk. As you can see, mine is not quite so tidy. Um, one tip is I find these bulldog clips, which are available from Tesco for a pound for about 20, are really useful when building this type of model. Right, there's the two buildings now glued together in situ. I in fact had to put two layers of cork underneath because Thomas the Tank Engine's funnel was just a little bit too high. But um, it means that the one half of the platform is one layer of cork higher than the other, but it doesn't show. So that's the uh, end result. I've now built the rest of the platforms and it's all glued in place. A quick bit of engine running just to show the effect. The scale is quite good. The gap between the loco and the platform is fairly small which is quite satisfying and the effect I think is very good so I'm pleased with the result. The next step after running the trains is to put down the ballast. Putting the ballast down is a bit tricky. Um, it's a case of spreading it down by hand and then using a brush to try and um, level it out and get it out of the places it shouldn't be and make sure it doesn't interfere with the trains. Uh, it's a bit hit and miss and I found afterwards that I had to do a lot of picking with a screwdriver to get bits that are stuck in the wrong places. But anyway, it's quite um, a very good effect. Once the dry plastic chippings are down, you have to spray them with water with just a little bit of washing up liquid in. This makes them all wet so when the glue is applied the glue runs into the all the corners. So that's why I have some um, cling film over the platform to stop it getting wet. This is the glue, it's 50-50 water and e I think it's EVA, but the white wood glue um, and a bit of bit more washing up liquid. I then have to spray using this applicator the uh, glue all over the ballast. This is quite tedious and you have to be very careful to make sure you cover everything. 
when I did this I assumed that the bridge would continue hanging from the door so it was important to make sure that none of the ballast would run away but there's the end result I think it looks quite good the trains um, are running again and as you can see it's hopefully even more realistic with the ballast down Here we have the complete, or the section that's been, where the scenery is complete. It's about a third of the layout and two thirds still to be done. As I said earlier, the bridge hangs from the back of the door. I've decided this is not satisfactory because I will be putting people and benches and um, foot, foot bridges on the platform. So I've put up this shelf and from now on I will be storing the bridge from its proper location up on this shelf which keeps it well out of the way and will avoid any damage. Well, I hope you enjoyed the um, video. Talk to you again soon.